so guys normally this kind of image will take you about an hour or two to edit even just removing the pimples will take a whole lot of work in this video i'm going to show you a method that is going to take only about three minutes to take this image from this stage to this stage it's going to automatically remove the pimples for you and it's going to automatically do most of the job for you so it will take you about three minutes to review the effect of this action and the image this was the before this is the after you can see that all the texture on the skin is being retained the only thing removed is just the blemishes with no further ado let's get started we are going to delete the smart retouch and come here to your action panel and play the slammy smart retouch if you don't already have this option check the link in the description or watch through this video to see how it works before deciding if you need this action or not so on the gaussian blow you said it reduce to 10 and i'll click on ok if you open the action i open the slammy smart three ways effects you can see there are so many layers here all these layers have already gone through your image and retouched it for you creating texture layers that will retain every single texture on this image Why? You go on to review the effect so if you come down here to the layer one you take your lasso to make sure the fader value is 20 pixels make a selection around your subject like this pass skin come to filter blow gaussian blow set the gaussian blow radius to about 100. now click on ok Make a selection around here like this. This time just right click and click on Gaussian blow to apply the previous value you just used. Go on on the skin like this, you make a selection avoiding the head area like the eyelashes and eyebrows. Come to right click on your image and click on Gaussian blow. You do the same for every other part of the image. You continue like this. And for small areas like this, after making the selection, come to filter, blow, Gaussian blow. You can now reduce the radius to about 60 to retain more dimension on the nose. Now click on OK. You go on to apply the previous value all over the image. At this point, you can still see that the skin texture is not looking amazing. It's not looking as even and beautiful as it should be. So at this point, you come to the mid effects. Make sure you're on the layer max. Take your brush. Make sure the foreground is white. Because white is the review. Now, your opacity should be 100, flow, any reasonable flow is okay. Around 40. Now, increase your brush size accordingly and brush over the skin. You can see how amazing the skin texture is now becoming. Go around and brush over every part of the image to review this effect. Now you can see this underside here is not that even. Come down to the layer one. Take your lasso to make another selection and apply the Gaussian blow radius again. Another one here, apply the Gaussian blow. And in no time, we are already done. From this stage, you can go on to uh, dodge and burn your image and do other stuff. If you don't already know how to do them, check this channel to see videos on simple ways to dodge and burn your image. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful tip, trick, and photography tutorial. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial. Thank you.